in order to become carbon neutral and uh, incorporate the embodied carbon that it takes to build the building, you actually have to be uh, positive energy. If you imagine the amount of energy that hits the skin of a building, um, both in terms of solar and wind, that um, I'm sure there's plenty of energy that's actually hitting the facade if it can be captured in an efficient way, coupled with um, daylighting, which can, you know, artificial lighting consumes a lot of the energy that a building can, uh, requires, and then figuring out natural ventilation, and the combination of all those things, plus um, you know, better technology in terms of capturing wind power and solar power, I'm sure that the day will come pretty soon when that'll happen. I don't think so, actually. I mean, I think uh, if you want to build a building, you have to use materials, you have to use uh, processes, you have to uh, basically uh, expend energy and uh, carbon dioxide. <coughs> I'm sorry, all you can do is obviously compensate. There are ways of doing that. Geothermal is a great way. Uh, solar and wind is pretty good, depending on where you're at. Fuel cell technology, um, microprocessor technology, um, uh, thin film technologies, which actually don't rely on direct sunlight. So uh, even on the north face of the building, you'll generate some power from the ambient light. I think it's technically possible. It's really a, whether it's feasible economically to achieve that. I think um, there's, there is the potential uh, for them to be carbon neutral. Um, but it has to be on the basis that, that it's carbon offsetting. In other words, uh, um, uh, those buildings that produce energy have to be able to feed it back into the grid and get the payback that way. Uh, uh, clearly, to make a building self-sufficient in its own right could be a little bit problematic and quite a challenge for the future. But we have to get there, uh, and I do believe over time we will. I could imagine um, a, a building that is um, making use of renewable energies, um, so therefore compensating possibly for um, uh, f fossil fuel that would be used for to run the building, or even um, possibly if there's production in excess of of uh, uh, consumption, there might be a contribution to the to the grid. That's theoretically possible. There are plenty of technologies and systems available to all of these things are are out there. It's no one has really pooled a project together. I think technically. Um, from that standpoint at this point, but I think you'll see it. I actually differ from the, the professionals here. I don't think a, a tall building will become carbon neutral. I, I agree that the technology, it just gets better every day and it'll get very close, but I just can't see it ever becoming completely carbon neutral. You've got to look at tall buildings not in isolation. You've got to look at them, uh, how they integrate with um, with the urban, you know, the cities. Tall towers are generally efficient building forms within a city, within an urban grain. And if you look at the at the, uh, the carbon footprint of cities, I think tall buildings can make a big contribution because they create density, they create mixity, they create conditions which will um, lead to possibly or can lead to better to carbon uh, efficient lifestyles, um, more than small buildings that are spreading out into the countryside, covering ground, creating distances, you know, ne making mobility and, and traffic and other infrastructures necessary. If the concentrate the city, small, compact city, but there are many tall buildings, this is better than the wide, wide range the city, I think. But there are other things socially about uh, how towers sit into uh, uh, a city and how it helps um, reducing transportation issues. Uh, Mixed-use towers are very important. I do believe that tall buildings have a, an important role to play in sustainability, particularly if they're mixed-use buildings, because it's possible to have virtually uh, the components of a city in one building. So we believe there's, there's a lot of work still to be done. It's certainly not there at the moment. But we believe it can be done, and as, as we continue to develop ideas, it can be done. But also, it needs support from governments at legislation level as well um, to ensure that owners of buildings and operators of buildings actually meet those criteria as well.